varying registers to create moods in Gypsy Jazz. I'm Robin Nolan, and in this series of videos, I'm answering your questions on Gypsy Jazz guitar. And I got a question from Maxim in Belgium, who's asking about how to use different registers on a guitar, you know, to make it sound cool, to create different moods. And I think it's a really great question, and it's something which I use a lot. You know, for, I'll give you some examples straight away. So if I'm playing All of Me, the tune All of Me, you know, just the first bit of All of Me, All of Me, like that. Usually I play it. I kind of always play that, but if I'm kind of in the right mood and thinking creative, then I'll use another register. You know, I might even go. You know, and that sounds, that, that's a different mood, right? So instead of all of me, okay. Check this one. Right, it's just got a different mood. It's down low, it's creepy. And then here. another one as well. You could play right at the top. So the thing is to always be aware that whatever you know already, uh, let's say within playing melodies, that you can always play it somewhere else to create another mood. And this is something which can, you know, really kind of amplify what you already know without actually learning anything else. All you've got to do is learn the new position. So all of me, C, G, E, there you got it, down the bottom there. So even if you only, from this video, have learned that, I bet when you put that in your next time you play All of Me, it'll sound good, you know what I mean? If you're going to play Nuage, I usually always play it there. But maybe at the end of the tune I go, play it down there, and it sounds different. So again, you already know the melody, just take the time, just take a couple minutes to there it is there. Learning up there, um, etc. And then, you know, in, when you're in the right moment, when you're relaxed and you kind of come into playing the melody, you might just go. It's good to create a different mood. So you can do that with all the tunes you know. You know, just take the time to to learn it in different registers. Um, you know, another example: minor swing. You know. You know, you don't have to always play it. You might. It's just got a different feel, different register. That's the beauty of the guitar. You know, on the piano, you know, it just, you know, you can play different notes at different areas of the neck, and you get a different tone. You know, you know, on each note. So the D, you got this sound. You got this sound. You know, they're all different, all creating different moods. So you can use that to an advantage, mix and match, and uh, it's going to sound great. So that's it for this video. You know, just be aware of using different registers. That means the same note played in a different register, down an octave or up an octave, to create a different mood. And I think it's going to sound really great and you know, open up your playing. And not many people do it. They kind of people usually when they're playing stuff, they're always kind of playing it in the same position. Me too. You know, I kind of keep forgetting that you can do this. You know, so. You know, Maxim's right with asking this question, that kind of be aware of using different registers to create different moods, okay? So you already know it, go and do it. Um, if you've got a question yourself about Gypsy Jazz, then I'd love to answer it. So just fire me an email at questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com. And if you want to check out some other really great lessons from some of the best teachers in the world, then go to gypsyjazzsecrets.com. There's, uh, there's a free issue waiting for you right now, so you're going to really love that stuff. Um, thanks for watching the video and I'll be back soon.